I think I think a lot of the time racism gets confused for and mislabeled when people just hate that woman who refused oh, to a, sign gay marriage laws or license or licenses. Yeah, license. they refused to issue gay marriage uh, marriage licenses or a marriage license to a gay couple, and she was put behind uh, bars for being in contempt, which totally makes sense. Like, if you want to be a newborn Christian, you want to be a Christian, fine. I have had this exact conversation with somebody who's a devout Christian, I said, look, if you are solely believing upon in your faith, then your faith says that upon entering or coming to the heavenly gates, it will be God's final judgment that lets you in or not. Yeah. So why are you as a person even worrying about that? Yeah, why are you judging? Straight people have fucked the sanctity of marriage up for fucking hundreds of years. Trust me, I know. Well, it's all like, right? Like, how does anyone know that anyone that's a religious person, how do they know that what God's real interpretation is? They're, They're interpreting what, you know, supposedly God means. Well, exactly. They don't know for sure. The way people believe nowadays, regard like you're going by the modern translation or what have you you know regardless it is it is god i mean Your all god's religion is based off a of spiritual story spiritual beliefs uh people wanting understanding of the universe that's what religion is based off of the meaning of life the death like they they just want meaning they, they want, want closure answers. they want answers they want a reason yeah. to to spend 90 years on this earth and then leave and and then and then leave with knowing and having something to well, Exactly. For Look some forward people, to religion after justifies death. why life can be so shitty. Yeah. And it's a test. It's this. It's because that. when you really think about it, right, you're forced into this world. We're not, we're, we have no choice behind that. We have no, we're, we're forced in we're that world. We're all the resort of our parents fucking and coming in a vagina. Yeah. And fucking, then we're born. Then we're born. We have a nice childhood. We have, if we're lucky, we get loving parents. If we're fucked up, we get like the we get shit ketamine stick. Kelly. We get ketamine Kelly as a mom and we end up fucking sucking dick when we're 14 for cocaine. But, you know, it, you, you get dealt a hand and then you live your life and then you, you have to get a job. You got to pay bills. You got to pay taxes. And if you don't pay your taxes, you get thrown into jail. You can't smoke weed. Here's something depressing. You can't smoke weed. You can't, you can't smoke a plant that grows naturally on this earth. You know, you can't come home and relax and smoke a plant. But you can come home and drink all the fucking endless booze and pooch and toilet water you want because that's completely legal can't smoke weed you can make fucking booze in your toilet but can't smoke weed yeah, yeah. and then and then you, you you get a job you get a job you live life and then you die you die when you're 80 and you know if, sure. if you're lucky you have a family that mourns you and, and they're hurt by your loss it's real depressing and that's what religion is there for to kind of give like all right, Nana may have died, but she's in heaven now. But she's watching over you. She's watching over you. Angel. Whether you believe that. in spiritual beliefs or science, it's what you find comfort in, whether it be stories and belief in something better or numbers. Or Whatever you find more comfort in. Eating a bunch of mushrooms and talking in eighth dimensions and thinking that's your religion like some people nowadays. Have fun with your yeah, life. Don't take, don't take life so seriously. Don't take yourself uh, too seriously. Especially for Just, people when it when it comes to anything and it's not real life. What matters are the people that actually surround you. Yeah, and I don't know how we got off from talking about this, and we just weave in our way. It doesn't matter. It's an organic conversation that goes wherever the fuck it wants. That's what it is. That's the beauty of us. That's the beauty of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for fucking listening to this podcast.